freezing out. Good morning. I'll shut the door. Oh, shut the door. Yeah, don't let the cold come in. No. It's a very cold forest out there. Good morning. Look what has happened. We go away and Christmas arrives. Welcome to your Tuesday this morning. We have missed you. We have missed you. It feels like ages since we've been here. It does, but look, we've been very, very busy. I would like to say we, but actually the art department are really incredibly busy. Should we have a little look around because it is worthy of it? 22 Christmas trees here, the ones we've been using for the last seven years, guys. Yeah, all of our paper chains have been handmade using recycled, recycled wrapping, paper wrapping paper from paper. last year's set. Uh, also, what have we got here? We've got not one, we've got two fireplaces, mantles and chimney breasts. They're back. They've been here before. They have. They have. We've got two Nutty the Nutcrackers. Oh. They're from White Stores. One is an old one. I'm afraid one is a new one. Um, it's and, okay. Uh, the thing is, with decorations, you buy you these add, things you and add you to add it. to it. You add to it. Well, we they're flanking them. the fireplace on the grotto. And then we've got a pineapple set. You know we love a pineapple here on this morning. Well, this year, Father Christmas is feeling a little bit fruity and he's holding a mini one. <laughs> Although, proportionally, it's a massive one. You'd be, you're, it's amazing how we find this pineapple I know. stuff, isn't it, really? <laughs> There's a, how extraordinary how much pineapple stuff there is out there to I get. Know. If it's out there, we'll find it. Yeah, if you think we've gone a bit early, think again. Sunday was the first day of Advent. Um, we've been doing a, a little bit of digging. The date it starts changes every year, but it always begins four Sundays before Christmas Day. So this is OK. And also, if you're not happy with that explanation, then consider this. Love Actually, possibly one of the finest Christmas films of all time, begins with the scenes of present buying, Christmas trees and ice skating, along with the caption, five weeks before Christmas. So... If the church says Christmas has begun and Love Actually agrees, then we put our decks up. Yes, our recycled To hell decks. with it. And we're not the only ones either. Rachel says, welcome to Candy Cane Lane. This is oh. our porch so far. Oh, that's so cute. Um, oh, this is good. Angie said, we've added some sparkle to our door. We hope the neighbours like it. Well, I love your pink door. Oh, you've got a nutty the nutcracker. Is that last year's too? Wow. Well. <laughs> Debbie says, here's my front door. It's like walking into a present every oh, day. Oh, that's lovely. They've done a, a big bill on the front of Television Centre. It's lovely. Yes, yeah, I've seen it's it. it's really nice. Very nice. Claire says it took us six hours to do the tree and we used a thousand baubles. A thousand! That's mad. Wow! Uh, Carol says this is our very traditional tree with baubles spanning over oh. 60 years from families past and present. That's nice when you can use things. We've still got stuff that my folks had on their tree. Yeah, yeah, I've got some of I think Mariah's house. given up. Oh, oh. Play it again. She, she's had enough. Recycle, Mariah. <laughs> Bethany says, I put mine up on the 28th of October. Is that too early? Never. No, no. I don't think so. Do what so. you like. Do what oh, you God, like. Oh, look at this one. David says we uh, went for a Grinch theme this year. Merry Grinchmas. I mean, that's terrifying, but brilliant. Julie said, my tree's up and it wouldn't be Christmas without a few cheeky chocolate decorations in there. I know. Well, I can't, do you know what? Now we've got the dog, I can't put chocolate on the tree. Can't you put it high up? Yeah, but do you know what? She might end up up there. Really? Well, I don't know. She <laughs> might. Anything's possible. I know. Just uh, Tracy idea. says my five-year-old Archie is mesmerised by Archie. Oh, that's Look at Archie looking. That's like a like a movie poster. I know. That's next year's Christmas card. Vicky says mine was up, but it didn't stay up right for too <gasps> long. I wonder whose fault that was. Look, the cat. Oh. Naughty cat. Thank you for those. Right, on with the show. Here's what you've got to look forward to. And it's not just our show getting ready for Christmas, is it, Sharon? Well, it's the soaps. We're going to be giving you a festive hint of what might be happening over Christmas. Um, so there might be weddings, um, maybe murders, but a turkey and a few fights. Standard. Standard, Thank you standard very much. Christmas fair. So it's all quite disconcerting because we looked over to where we thought Sharon was. <laughs> and there's a massive Christmas tree in the way. And we couldn't see her and we didn't know where she no, was. No, couldn't see <laughs> her. There, there you are, are behind yeah. the tree. <laughs> uh, with Santa's workshop at its busiest right now, Steve Wilson has offered a lend a hand to Father Christmas and share the very best Christmas gifts for children. Good morning, Steve. What have you got? Hi, good morning. I've got loads of things for you, starting from literally zero years old and some stuff for the difficult to buy for teenagers as well. And just cool stuff to play with, so come and join me in a bit. I we had a will, spirograph. Definitely. I loved those. Love a spirograph. And an so etch sketch. Yeah. Loved an etch sketch. Yeah, yeah. Do something new. Doesn't uh, work on these ones. Well, once, no, because it'll, it'll be wiped. It'll be wiped. <laughs> uh, once all the wrapping is done and you're all set for the big day, you'll want a nice, comfy set of Christmas PJs. And that's just what Cat Farmer is here to help with today. Hiya. 
Good morning. Yes, Christmas has truly arrived on this morning. And to celebrate, we have got Jarmas for all the family. Festive Jarmas, be it stylish, be it novelty. We've even got something for the dog. Join us at 12.15. I actually went past the rail and there is the cutest baby grow for a baby with a bow on it. They look like a present. It's the nicest thing. I took a picture of it and just sent it to all my friends that are about to have babies. I was like, you need this. Mm. It's very cute. Sure that wasn't for a dog? No. No, it wasn't, was it? No. No. Just I checking think I there was the, there's the most gorgeous dog called Ollie walking around today and he's got a little <laughs> scarf <laughs> on and stuff. No. It would have been on Ollie. I, I have had kids and I have had a dog. I do. <laughs> that one thing I do know the difference between. Right, so all of that on the way with us, all of this. We've got a star studded lineup today, including Ali Jones and Russell Watson. That's at 10.25. Claudia Winkleman shares her thoughts on the last remaining Strictly contestants at 11.35. And if that wasn't enough, Sir Cliff Richie joins us live on the sofa to really help Christmas start with a bang. He is here at midday. And all year this morning has been shining a light on the menopause and we're going to continue to do that in the phone-in today. Yeah, having trouble sleeping is one of the most common issues women experience during the menopause. And today, Dr Louise is here to answer your questions on menopause and sleep in a special clinic. So, uh, who would you like to hear from this morning? Anyone who's struggling, especially with poor sleep, which is, as you know, such a common symptom of the perimenopause and menopause. So anyone that's struggling and not able to feel better, then phone in and I'll hopefully give you some advice. Thank you very much. That sounds very good. Give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. Before all of that, though, we're...